Hello guys, welcome everybody to Purple A's Podcast. I am your host who bleeds purple and gold, Isaac. So, I kind of want to talk about this idea basically of... Because I've been hearing this a lot, I mean, Kirk Cousins, and if he's not going to be, he should not be with the Minnesota Vikings, but if the Minnesota Vikings do get rid of Kirk Cousins, I mean, would I be surprised if Kirk Cousins stayed with the Minnesota Vikings? Absolutely not, but but there are a few few places that Kirk Cousins could go, really, and prove his worth somewhere else, you know? Maybe, I don't know about the, not really the NFC North, no team would want him, but, but to start off with the, the ideas of where Kirk Cousins could go and which teams, I think would basically be a good fit for Kirk Cousins. Starting with the Atlanta Falcons, I mean, they have a a decent defense. I mean, I'm not sure really what their head coach is going to be. If it's Bill Belichick, he might want to lean towards that. But I feel like he's actually pretty good. I mean, Bill Bel... Because Kirk Cousins with, um, with a plethora of weapons, a decent offensive line. Bajon Robinson, who was a rookie, he looks pretty good. You got Kyle Pitts, Drake London. I feel like they they are very good weapons for Kirk Cousins. He could even he could absolutely do something in Atlanta if the Atlanta Falcons want to pick up him. Because I don't necessarily think the Falcons would trust Desmond Ritter and Taylor Heineke for the Atlanta Falcons. I mean, Kirk Cousins might be a good fit for the Atlanta Falcons. We'll just see how it goes. The Pittsburgh Steelers, I think they can absolutely offer him up to as well. Because with the quarterback situation they have, I mean, it's really not that great. I mean, they have a pretty good amount of weapons. Najee Thompson... Not, I'm sorry, not Najee Thompson, Najee Harris, George Pickens, who's absolutely playing pretty good. And, I mean, you got, I don't really know all Steelers, like, playmakers and all this X's and O's about them, but I know they're, they're not a bad football team under Mike Tomlin. I mean, they've always had a winning record, but they've had one Super Bowl ring with him, but I feel like Mike Tomlin... And Kirk, I think Kirk Cousins might get along very well with him. And then thirdly, an honorable mention would be the New England Patriots. I mean, they they have some decent playmakers too as well. I mean, the reason why they didn't look great at all was because Bill Belichick, you could tell that it was kind of getting outdated with him. With And also with the quarterback situation, Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi, they're not that great. I mean, Devondre Parker, you got Hunter Henry, you got Ramondre Stevenson, Nelson Aguilar, Juju Smith-Schuster, and actually a really, a pretty good defense for the New England Patriots. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that you might win the that division, but I feel like you might be at least very well competitive with the New England Patriots. That's been one of my top trade destinations for like a while and I think he should still go to New England. I'm fine with that. So basically, I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't know what the Raiders are going to do. But you could possibly offer him to the Raiders unless they're getting a rookie quarterback. I'm not sure if they believe in Aiden O'Connell or not. But they still have some solid playmakers, Devonta Adams, Josh Jacobs, Michael Ma- Michael Mayer, uh Hunter Renfro or Jacoby Brissett. I'm not Jacoby Brissett, Jacoby Myers. I think they have I think they have some decent and they have a very good defense with Antonio Pierce as a head coach. Antonio Pierce is not a bad head coach at all. I maybe that could 
I mean, that's one of my honorable mentions because I have no idea what the Raiders are going to do, but that could be some of the possible trade destinations. And so those are kind of my ideas. And basically, before I basically like, and basically that's just it, basically, of why anybody could take them, I am, that is great. Because, yes, Kirk Cousins, he is not the problem for the Minnesota Vikings. Some of it has been coaching. And I will admit, I think we would have made the playoffs in 2023 season because we wouldn't have lost the Broncos game. We wouldn't have lost the Bears game. We would we would have won by more against the Raiders. We would have we wouldn't have lost to the Bengals or the Lions for that matter. So if I feel like if Kirk Cousins was there and healthy, I feel like that, but and he's put up some decent stats, no doubt. But with the Minnesota Vikings, he hasn't been able to win a championship. And that's why I was ready to move on after the 4th and 8 play against the New York Giants. That was you. And and I don't care about the offensive line or the play call. It is not about that. It is about your decision making and... The decision was to throw it to TJ Hawkinson. That is scared football. That it's plain and simple. It's scared football. And heck, this isn't the first time in fourth and eight. There's been so many times where Kirk Cousins was just was just basically so aloof. He has no sense of the pressure. He um it just seems like he is playing scared for some of the times and is, isn't confident at all and wants to get off the field. I've seen it before. 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021, and 22, where he's played scared football. And also in 23, also as well. I'm just saying that this, in just all of the things that I have to hear about Kirk Cousins, I'm sorry, but it's just not going to work. It's basically outdated at this point with Kirk Cousins. Fourth and eight was all I needed to see. Fourth and eight was all I needed to see to know Kirk Cousins' future with the Vikings. And that fourth eight play is, and that, and that, and that future is, he cannot be the Minnesota Vikings in 24. I'm telling you, man, it is not going to work because it's just because he hasn't been able to win a championship. And basically, like, he only had one playoff win, by the way. He had three playoff appearances in 12 years with one playoff win with and that is with the Vikings. But other than that, he hasn't done much of anything to really get this team or elevate any team to get over the hump, really. He put up some nice stats, but stats may sound nice. His stats are nice, but I don't care about that. I care about fearless and just and just a quarterback who can operate under a... Sp- smaller margin of error. I want that. You know, because because with Kirk Cousins, 6 years has been long enough. We do not need to sign this guy to an extension and and I'm not a Kirk Cousins hater by any means or a stan. I just see what I see and what I see is he's not going to win us a championship and that's the bottom line. So I mean, whoever can take Kirk Cousins, come on down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Skull.